<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can cache your payloads offline on your PS4 if you are using a jailbroken PlayStation 4 console. Now I have done some offline tutorials before, but this is completely offline, really only using your hosting method and the PlayStation 4. You do not need to use a ESP8266 or anything else that, you know, anything additional that you would have to purchase in terms of hardware. What this does is this goes out to the site you're using, which here I'm going to be using a self-hosted Al Azif page uh, for his PS4 exploit host tool. And then it saves that cache with everything, including the payloads, to your console itself. So therefore, you can physically unplug the internet and you'll be good to go after that. You can just relaunch your internet browser. The only downside to this is if you end up clearing your browser cache or let's say you do anything else that requires you know, a data wipe on your PS4, you will have to redo this. Um, but with the way it works, it works pretty well not requiring a network connection and not requiring any other piece of hardware. So. In order to do this, you're going to need your exploitable PS4. You're going to need, this is assuming that you have been familiar with how to load payloads, mainly how to use uh, the PS4 exploit host by Al Azif. Uh, this can work on a uh, server if you're using a DNS server, or it can work on a local hosted method. I'm going to be going with the local hosted method. So with that, really all you need to do is make sure your PS4 is turned on, make sure you have everything running, and then load that page as normal. So I'm going to come to settings here, up to user's guide, user's guide, and now go over, as you can see here, there is a cache all page. But I'm just going to go to 505, and here are all my payloads that I have. So once you have this set up, all you need to do is hit cache, downloading cache, app application, it should say application cache successfully. And now just hit close internet browser. And that's it. To show you all that this is working as well too, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my network. I'm going to untick, connect to the internet. And that's about it on that that I need to do. So now that that's all been completed, you could either do this from the browser or you can do this from your user's guide. But I'm going to come up here to user's guide, user's guide again, as you can see it brings us up immediately, there's no button here for cache all, click that, and you're probably noticing how fast this is all loading as well too, because again this is all within your cache there, and now you can pick, for example, uh, let me pick app to USB. So I'm just going to wait for this to go through everything here. Um, since I haven't added anything, this should finish up within 30 seconds or so. But this is just to show you all that this is working as is. So waiting on that, it should bring up about three other notifications. And by the time it gets a complete, this will show you that app to usb is working as intended, offline, completely offline and completely disconnected from anything else from the PS4. So that's it. As you can see, app to USB worked just fine. I'm going to exit out of that, go back here again. User's guide, user's guide. It brings it up. And if I go to Mira plus Hin. Might bring that up. There is a syntax error there, which is fine. I'll just close out the window and load it up one more time. and you're all set. Fantastic. So now I can launch, as you can see, test application or really anything else that I have installed on here. So that is literally all you have to do. Now, just to prove to you all again that this is offline on here, I'm going to go over to my internet browser. And this is just in case you run into any issues um, right here, as you can see, it tried to load up the PlayStation site and it couldn't. Um, but this is how you can clear it out, update it, whatever it is. Uh, you can go over to your settings. I'm going to delete cookies, clear website data, close out of this window, exit out of there. And if I go back over to settings, user's guide, 
as you can see, cannot display the page because I've wiped everything from the cache on there. So that is an example of if this doesn't work or what can cause it to break. As you can see, well, I can show you all right here. It's not working anymore. Haven't done any cuts here yet. And it is because this is disconnected. So all I have to do to set it back up is reconnect it to the internet, go back over to the same method because I have everything set up on there. And I can just go over to cache one more time. And that's it. Again, just to prove it to you all one more time, untick that, come up here, user's guide, and it's all cashed in. So it looks like we're good to go at this point. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.